In the following downhill coasting tests, spoke fins are mounted on a Shimano Durace C24 wheel set and compared against a stock Durace C24 wheel set with bladed spokes. Testing demonstrates that against stronger headwinds, even the aerodynamic performance of a high-end racing wheel set can be improved simply by adding spoke fins. By swiveling around the round spoke like a wind vane, spoke fins streamline the spoke to reduce drag even in crosswinds. The first downhill test compares the stock Dura C24 wheel set against the Aerocross training wheel set with spoke fins from No Wind's technology. The second and third downhill tests then compare two sets of C24 wheels against each other, with one of the C24 wheel sets having been rebuilt with spoke fins installed over round spokes. In each of these three tests, the wheel set with spoke fins advances substantially ahead of the stock C24 wheels whenever the winds grow stronger. Tests demonstrate that spoke fins are particularly effective against headwinds since they maintain laminar flow over the spokes no matter the wind direction. Without spoke fins installed, air flowing over the spoke quickly becomes turbulent at higher wind speeds, thereby greatly exacerbating the overall drag on the wheel. And since the actual power being dissipated in drag during the turbulent flow is far greater than that during laminar flow, especially at higher wind speeds, spoke fins become particularly effective against faster headwinds. So to maximize aerodynamic efficiency by maintaining airflow in the lower drag laminar regime, a spoked wheel should always have spoke fins installed. Spoke fins simply convert a standard wheel set into an aero-efficient racing wheel set while also providing unmatched crosswind transparency. And by maintaining laminar flow over the spokes, spoke fins function similar to a disc wheel, but without the disc, while also providing greater stability and safety in gusty crosswinds. And the headwind's around the corner. So, a couple of seconds anyway. Again, uh, it's a headwind you're headwind thing. Uh, faster speed as the spoke fins come into their own, the total wind speed increases. So, faster riders are going to enjoy more speed with the spoke fin. That would, uh, the system power increases, not just the downhill coast power, but adding power to it. It would make the smoke fins win again, it would be more efficient. Yeah, we have a Dura Ace 1620. Against the, uh, no winds training wheel set 20 and 24 with spoke fins. And so you can have a training wheel set as fast as the race wheel set. That's what it's showing. And that's supposed to be the fastest tire. Uh, which tire are we running? We've got a $25 tire against a $7 tire. Okay, well, it must be the spoke fins. Good test. Please enjoy the following three downhill coasting tests, which demonstrate the amazing performance of spoke fins in windy conditions. And at the end of this video, we show spoke fins in swiveling action on the bike while riding in a circle in strong winds. We also show how crosswinds actually propel a finned wheel forward under crosswind conditions due to a sailing effect. If you find this new idea interesting, please let us know and tell your friends. And we really hope that you will soon try spoke fins for yourself.
hearing you a little bit. Yeah, I was a little faster on the start. Uh, but you gained about a bike length out ahead of me. Maybe a little more. Uh, and then I gained it back at the bottom when we lost the headwind. So again, Not slower in in a headwind than maybe a little faster. No wind, maybe a little slower. This is the conclusion. Here. And they're even more stable. 